What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a breaking Liverpool transfer news video. It looks like that we have a brand new transfer at Liverpool FC, Ragnar Klavan, a very experienced Bundesliga centre-back, is in Liverpool right now having a medical, Sky Sports are reporting it. Uh, the transfer fee is 4.2 million pounds for a 30 year old very experienced centre-back and here are two pictures of him actually coming out of a Liverpool hospital after the medical as you can see that he, get, he got some blood checks as well so I think this is a great transfer because Mamadou Sacco and Joe Gomez have uh, Achilles injuries Thiago Ilori could go to the Olympics with Portugal and also Joao Matip picked up a slight knock but nothing serious they scanned Matip and thankfully nothing serious happened to him so we still have Lovren and uh, and Matip but we need cover if one of them gets injured before we are before the Arsenal game there is basically no center back to play there and he's basically I think the perfect replacement for Martin Skirtel he costs less money he will be on less wages and actually watched some videos of him and he looks like a really really strong assured ball playing center back he's left footed so he can play in that la left center back spot and uh, and he's a leader he's very vocal he organizes the defense and I watched uh, his performances against uh, Liverpool, against Borussia Dortmund and for Estonia against Portugal and in all three games uh, he was really really calm, composed, he, uh, he carried the ball out of the defense and he actually put some really really good diagonals balls to the wingers which I really really liked so if you want to look up some videos uh, just search uh, Klavan versus and then you uh, in the YouTube search you will find uh, multiple videos of his uh, individual performances um, and uh, I remember the Liverpool Augsburg games I don't remember Klavan particularly well but I remember that we had a really hard time breaking down the Augsburg defense in the two games there was only a penalty which James Milner scored which separated these two sides and actually Augsburg's defense was very very solid and if you take into account that we scored a lot of goals against Dortmund, against Villarreal, against Manchester United you could only score a penalty in two games against Augsburg which means that Klavan was a very good defender uh, for them and, uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm actually very happy with this transfer because this is basically a no-risk transfer. Four million pounds in today's transfer market is virtually nothing. That's like one and a half million pounds three years ago because of the inflation, because of the TV deal. So it's basically, we, it's a no-risk transfer. Jurgen Klopp knows the Bundesliga very well. He knows this player very well. And he actually played in the Bundesliga for four years now and he actually finished uh, fifth with Augsburg the season before this last season and qualified for the Europa League. And you don't finish fifth in the Bundesliga without a good defense and Ragnar Klavan was an integral part of a good defense. He will be a backup option so I, I think it's a, it's a brilliant transfer for 4 million pounds, I keep saying it and I'm very happy that Klopp made this transfer because now we don't have to worry about either Lovren or Matip uh, not being fully fit for the Arsenal game because this guy actually can come in and can do a very very good job and I'm really really excited he could be a fan favorite somebody like uh, similar to Jamie Carragher with his leadership skills and he actually is better than with the ball than Jamie Carragher as I said when I watched him play he reminded a little bit, me a little bit uh, of Daniel Agger in the way that he was really calm when he had the ball, he didn't just boot it out, he always looked for the pass, he got the ball and he just uh, carried the ball out of the defense, he, sometimes he got past the striker um, with the body feint to get past the striker and then he picked out the pass to the midfielders or a diagonal ball to the wingers, so I, I was really happy with, the, with his performance, is what I, what I saw and Bundesliga experts say that this is a very good transfer, also, I wanted to update you guys on the Jorginho Wildeiro transfer. Newcastle said that they are holding out for a lump sum fee for uh, Vinadum. So basically, they want the 25 to 27 million pound uh, uh, to play to be paid up front. I'm not sure if Liverpool will like that. Some of you guys said that why are we signing him? Um, 
because he's an attacking midfielder and we have a lot of attacking midfielders. He can play in midfield and uh, Jurgen Klopp actually might switch formation this season. I, everybody thinks that they, Jurgen Klopp could play in the 4 to 3 one formation. But uh, judging on the preseason game so far, we played 4 3 3 quite, quite a few times. And Jorginho Wildan, Wildan could play in the, in, in the center midfield because he played there for PSV Eindhoven. He scored 56 goals in like 150 games for PSV Eindhoven in center midfield. And he also played there sometimes for Newcastle where he was really excellent. And he also played in the same centre midfield, in a midfield three. There, I have to emphasize this, he, he can't play in the midfield two. He's not, two, he's not that type of player, Vinado. But he can play in the midfield three with Emre Can and maybe Jordan Henderson or Philip Coutinho. And if Jurgen Klopp thinks that this is a good transfer, I'm all for it. We shouldn't really pay attention to the transfer fee too much because we, sell the, we sold so many players and we keep selling big players like Penteke for example. So we will have a lot of money generated. So we have the funds to spend on this transfer. And frankly, if Rinaldo, if he was signed from uh, PSV Eindhoven, everybody would be very excited. And I think he's an even better player now than what he was. Uh, for PSV Eindhoven, uh, just because he got relegated with Newcastle and just because he got he disappeared in some of the games, I don't think we should judge that too harshly. It's very difficult to play in a side like Newcastle United, which hardly create any chances and they are always on the back foot. And he actually scored more goals in the Premier League Vinaldum than any of the Liverpool midfielders. And that says it all, that he can score goals and I think if we get an injury to either Coutinho, Firmino or Mane, we need good backup players. So I'm very happy that we are going for Vinaldo. I really hope that um, that we actually pull the transfer off. Uh, Rafa Benitez thinks very highly of him and I think that Vinaldo definitely won't be staying at Newcastle United. And I don't want uh, the likes of Tottenham or Everton picking up a very good player like him. I want him at Liverpool, but let me know if you agree or disagree with me. And one last transfer story, which is kind of linked to Liverpool. Boy, Borussia Dortmund opened talks with Bayern Munich over the transfer of Mario Götze. The Eurosport newspaper is reporting it. Bayern chief executive Karl-Heinz Rummenigge told uh, Sport1 that I can confirm that talks with Borussia Dortmund regarding Götze have taken place. The deal is not done just yet. Both clubs will have to reach an agreement over a transfer fee first. The Dortmund fans won't be happy about this because they don't want Götze back uh, at Dortmund. It's quite weird because actually uh, Borussia Dortmund signed Mkhitaryan to replace Götze when Götze went to Bayern Munich and now they are signing Götze back to replace Mkhitaryan who went to Manchester United. It's funny how the transfers work out in the space of three or four years. And I'm actually not too disappointed that Götze doesn't come to Liverpool and I will tell you why. Because he, Liverpool wasn't his first choice. When Jurgen Klopp saw that Götze is hesitating on the deal, because Jurgen Klopp, make no mistake, even before the Euros, we went in for Götze, Jurgen Klopp wanted to bring him in. But when Jurgen Klopp saw that Götze is hesitating on the move and he wasn't 100% certain that he wants to come to Liverpool, he moved on quickly, we signed Mane and we quickly forgot about Götze and frankly we don't need players that don't 100% want to play for Liverpool FC and I, I'm happy that actually Jurgen Klopp has done this. I just don't want Götze to go to either Tottenham or other Premier League clubs, so I'm actually, I will be quite happy that if he signs for Borussia Dortmund. But yeah, let me know what do you think about this transfer news in the comments below and I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. See you later guys. Goodbye.